Wags here with head coach Ed Hoddle after Stevenson drops their opener 35-16 to Rowan. Uh, coach, you talked about your youth in the pregame show, and um, we also have some, some good flashes today, but uh, what are your takeaways? Now you're going to watch the film. What are your takeaways from this first game? Well, the youth showed up for sure. Um, you know, youthfulness, inexperience. Um, you know, we talked about it pregame. You know, we had to be able to stop the run. We had to be able to run the ball, and I don't think we did either one really well. Um, we turned the ball over four times, I think. You can't turn the ball over. You know, we, we made it just about every mistake and, and made it really, really hard on ourselves, um, you know, really from the opening kickoff moving forward. So, you know, lots to learn from, lots to take from. You know, I told the guys, you know, proud of the effort. You know, we probably played more freshmen and sophomores tonight than we've played in the last 10 years combined in the opener. So, um, you know, lots of room to grow and, and you know, guys – you know, can't hang their heads and, you know, got to get back to work tomorrow. You talk about the, the freshman and sophomore stepping up. Obviously, Louie gets hurt early on and you had some other people in a running back. What are some of the takeaways offensively from this game, you know, going after that point, which would you can pull away? Well, it, you know, it, you look at LJ and, and he did a nice job and Kirk Reed does a nice job. And, you know, but where those guys, you know, there's there's areas of those guys' games where they struggle that Louie was really efficient at and, mm -hmm. Um, you know, so he's going to have to grow. They're going to have to grow up pretty quick, you know, and we're going to have to scheme some things up that um, make it a little bit simpler for them, pass pro kind of stuff and um, some run game stuff that, you know, kind of cater to their needs, build game plans around what, what, what they do really well. And, you know, Dion was Dion. You know, he, he's everything that we thought he was going to be. And, you know, he was challenging to cover. We missed him a couple times. And, um, you know, they cut some guys loose in coverage and we, you know, we missed them. So we've got, you know, we've got to clean some of those things up offense. What about defensively? You know, we, we, hard to, hard to, you know, kind of talk about that, at least at this point without seeing the film, we played a ton of snaps. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, I, I think, you know, we played 81 snaps and, and, you know, probably 50 of them were in the first half. Mm -hmm. So, you know, all of a sudden, you know, you're tired before the game even really gets going and, you know, certainly not an excuse, but you know, those guys, you know, got worn down a little bit. So, you know, it'll be interesting to look at the film and see how assignment sound we are, see where we're, you know, we're with our, you know, with our fundamental techniques and, and, and go from there. So now going into Lev Down, now you have that kind of extra day to prepare because you played, no, you played Thursday, now you don't play again. Does that to next Saturday? Does that help a little bit as you, did you try to, you know, iron out the kinks a little bit? Absolutely. You know, we'll, we'll get into this film tomorrow. Um, we'll get this all flushed out. We'll have a, you know, a light workout tomorrow afternoon after we watch the film and kind of move forward from it a little bit quicker. Um, we'll give the guys off on Saturday and, and bring them back in Sunday and, you know, kind of get two Mondays out of our week, which is, which is always good and to have the extra day. All right, coach. Good luck next week. Thank you very much. Being the final score 35, 16 for all the rest. Go to mugomustangsports.com.